Okay. Let me, I think I'm telling you something. Please be seated. Actually, I have to tell you. I'm telling you. Most of the time, I'm telling you. I will start a day with the other one. Let's <laughs> do that. So let me take it out first. First, let me start by. Welcome to my channel. If you enjoy the content, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe for more updates. Your support helps me create more exciting content like this. Here we give you the best entertainment, news, sports, name it. Thanks. I'll be back. Let's start right in. All of us. Go back to that to those of you who put this together. And that's to those of you who, of course, being busy, some being tired of listening to the Nigeria too. Because some are tired. You are still come out and say, okay, let's just go and know what this is about. Say again. So I think it's not easy to listen to that was story as a certain bit. That I need to be there. I met somebody today who told me that since you were born, I don't like it. Since you were born, I met this song. Every day, it goes to the road, it continues to get down. So that it doesn't mean to let her get it. And I said, well, she will get it. Finally, then, I said that she went to the election. I'm only one of the family. So I appreciate you. Appreciate you, my friend. We politicians are fond of never. Going back, and I will give a you to say thank you. Thank you. But I say, no, we'll come back and say thank you. Because without you, whatever they were able to achieve, we have a possibility. It's you. It can also be reversed. Because Nigeria has what can make it reverse. I see it every day. I feel it every day. It's a simple thing. People can tell me anything. Africa as a whole has far more potential than anywhere in the surface of the earth. The only thing they require is leadership. Nigeria in particular have what it takes to be come what it used to be. I was telling the young man I was traveling today with, I said soon after the formation of BRICS when the BRICS was formed soon after the formation of BRICS within the first five years ago, so. An economist thought about the mint nations. He said they were soon for the BRICS. And that mint nation were Mexico, Indonesia, Nigeria, and Turkey. People don't even know the same thing existed. And they were at this aqua. Today, the other countries have become high in measurement of development. They're still low. And we're now going to do all sorts of things and everything. Nigeria started well, with all the good intentions. Today, we're talking about fuel, disgusting, fuel costing too much. 
not having refinery, finally not working. Nigeria built its first refinery within six years of discovering oil. Go and check most nations doing do that. Countries like Vietnam and everything just built the refineries a few years ago. Kairos was started by. We're talking about power. The first time Nigeria borrowed money as a country was by Tafa in the early 60s. World Bank, go and read the World Bank report, it's there. He borrowed money to build the Kanji Dam. Kanji Dam is still there. Go and read the World Bank report, it says this is the country of the future. When people advantage, I think within this Commonwealth, well, this is country. And when I talk about the GDP of Commonwealth, actually, only about four or five countries I can classify as developed. And the GDP of these four or five is actually constitute about 70% of the energy. So, which means out of six countries of the Commonwealth, only about six maximum. We talk about UK, India, size does not actually want Australia, this is like Singapore, actually the ones that have the, the bulk of the GDP, which means virtually about 49% of <coughs> 49 countries of the common, common countries are still what you can call, you can classify them as the road for their problem. It's a polite language of describing poverty and that. Because some of them should have something bigger. About 60 percent are below the age of death, or call it the young age, which means you have a productive workforce that can change. And in the past, when you talk about population, you talk about in a system that can create money. And it's talking about harnessing the potential for it to change. It becomes critical when you look at it. Here is the population, a third of the world population. But when you look at the GDP of the world, being about 110 trillion, Commonwealth is at between 13 and 16. So why they have a third, a third of the world population, third of the world population, the GDP is about below one sixth. That means you could see it's being circulated that with the right focus on everything, Cornwall could by the year 2030 <coughs> be at a GDP of about 20 or more trillion. So within the next five years, it's going to grow by about 30%, which is good. Thank you for watching i appreciate your support don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting videos i can't wait to see you back here again bye bye